the resources. And protecting our dreamers. And protecting our dreamers. <clears throat> So why this what this conversation is about, and when I say protecting our dreams, there is bipartisan support for the dreamers in the Congress, just not at the top where they would bring up a bill. So we'll see. Now, as we talk about all of that, uh, it is, uh, we were very close, really, to getting the domestic, the caps, the caps argument, what are the caps for domestic America? The caps um, discussion, we were very close to a solution, and then they just, decided they were going down this other path on the dreamers. And uh, uh, while I'm on the subject of dreamers, since last night the president put forth a plan, let me just say what I said last night. That plan is a campaign to make America white again. It's a plan that says over 50% of the current legal immigration will be cut back, that many people will be sent out of the country. If you read through it, you're thinking, do they not understand that immigration has been the constant reinvigoration of America? When people come here with their hopes and dreams and aspirations and their optimism and their courage to make the future better for their families, they are honoring the vows of our founders who predicated everything they did that every generation would make the future better for the next. And with those same values, these newcomers make America more American instead of viewing it as something, in their word, alien, they should embrace it. They are changing the character of our country by what they are putting forth. They bring a tear to the eye of the Statue of Liberty and they bring fear to the hearts of people who are here playing by the rules, people of faith and family and committed to the future for their families and for our great country. So this is a fight about who we are. It's not just a fight about dreamers, important as that is. My goodness, if any country in the world said, got up one day and said, we're going to send 800,000 of young people who came here with their parents uh, back to where they came from, we'd say, that country is outside the circle of civilized human behavior. Instead, it's what's happening here. So we really have to embrace this and say, there is a solution. What are your concerns? Let's sit down and get this done. They want the ransom for these children to be $25 billion for a wall when we have all the needs that we have for infrastructure in our own country. So this is a fight that we will be having, not about people, but about value, not just about people, but about values, and it comes to sanctuary cities, and I thank so many of you for your courage on this subject. People don't understand. The one problem, I think, with the current occupant of the White House, they don't understand that sanctuary cities is what helps law enforcement. It helps public safety. <laughs> if only they just understood how somebody can come forward if they know they're protected to help public safety but they don't really want to know because that doesn't serve their purpose. And same thing with DACA, the president said, maybe I'll extend. No, don't extend it because you're just making matters worse. End it, solve it. Solve it, know what you're talking about. That would be good. So, and then, 